Hey guys, today we are looking at how to overload the output stream operator in C++. It's also called the insertion operator in C++. So it's very simple. We will only write a single function and we'll be able to pass this challenge. So what do we have here? Uh, inside the main function, we have three string variables called first name, last name, and then events. And then we're going to use C in to initialize these variables. So we're going to give them values. The user is going to enter something and it's going to look like, um, like this. The user is going to enter John for the first name, Doe for the last name, and then registered for the events. And then we're going to create a person object right here. You can see it is the constructor. So uh, we're going to pass it two values, the first name and the last name. And these are going to be stored inside member variables. So I'm going to drop down this part of the code here, which is logged. You can see we have a class called person and in the constructor, we pass it to string first name and last name. And these get stored in the first name member variable and last name member variables, which is what you see here. And then we have getters. So uh, because we can't access these because they are private, we need to use getters like this here because these are public. So we can call get first name to get the first name and get last name to get the last name. Uh, but there's one issue here because then we want to output the details of the user. We want to output the first name and last name. But we want to do it like this here. We want to call C out then use the output stream operator here or insertion operator. And we want to write P like this. And we expect the program to give us something like this. First name equals John, comma, last name equals Do. And then space here and events. In this case, the event is registered. Now this by default is not possible in C++. You cannot have C out and um, follow it by an object and expect it to print something like this. So we need to implement that in our very own program, uh, which is what we're going to do right now. So in here, um, I'm just going to write my code. The first thing that I'm going to verify is that we have this IO stream header file at the top of our text editor. And then I'm going to have O stream, which is the output stream, and I'm going to have a reference to it. What I'm doing here is I'm writing the return type of the function that I'm about to implement. So O stream, and you remember in my previous video, I think the last one I just published, if I'm not mistaken, I said, whenever you want to overload an operator, you need to use the operator keyword followed by the actual operator that you want to overload. So in this case, we want to overload the insertion operator or output stream operator. And then uh, we need to give this function two parameters. So the first one is going to be the output stream, a reference to it. I'm going to call that out. And the second one is going to be a reference to a person object like this. And you know it's by reference because we are using the ampersand after the, uh, the data type. Now I can just write out like this, like we would do with C out and have this first name equals, and notice here there's no space. So the next thing I need to say P dots, I want to access the first name so I can use the getter that we saw previously. Get first name. I believe the I got that correct. Yep, get first name. And then we are going to have a comma, right? This is what they have right here. And then uh, just to organize my code, I'm going to go to the next line and say last name equals, again, there is no space. The first name uh, comes right after. So I'm going to have p dot get last name. Again, I'm using the getter because I cannot access the private member variables outside the class. And that's it. We don't need to add uh, end line or anything because um, everything needs to be printed in the same line. So uh, once I'm done with that, I just need to return my output stream like this, return out. All right, so if we go here again, this part here of the code, C out P, is going to display this. First name equals John, last name equals Doe. And then after that, we're going to have a space and display the event, which is registered in that case. And then we're going to go to the next line and that's it. That's basically the program. Now uh, at the bottom, you can see I, I had already run uh, this code because I've already done this challenge, but I'm going to run it again because I just uh, wrote it all over again. And we just passed this test. So let's submit it. 
and make sure that we pass all the test cases. And yeah, and we just did. So you can see uh, how easy it is to overload operators in C++. So every time you want to overload the output stream operator or you want to overload the insertion operator, just have the, um, the stream, the output stream, a reference to it here. And you pass in two variables. The first one is the output stream, uh, a reference to it. And the second one is a reference to the objects on which you want to apply, um, you know, that new implementation of the operator. And then uh, you can just write this here like you would with a C out. And when you are done, you return it. And you can use it in your program like this. So that's it for this um, C++ tutorial. It was um, a hacker rank challenge. I believe the difficulty level was medium, but you can see that it was pretty easy and pretty fast to solve. So if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to the next rank channel. Make sure you turn on your notifications and I will catch you next time. Bye.